I want to show you how to make simple dashboards using GL summaries in Dynamics GP and Excel reports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate an Excel spreadsheet using Excel reports for Dynamics GP. I'm going to use the account summaries, the GL account summaries. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to modify that to give me the information I want and also to give me the reporting formats that I want. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Excel reports for Dynamics GP. And I've got some of standard ones here. There's about 200 standard ones that come with the system. I'm going to use one of those. It's going to be account summaries. So let's take a look at that right now. I'll look it up here. And I believe it's down here. So I'm going to select this one right here. Let's hit view. It's accessing the data. So I'm going to put in the password here. It's going to pull in all the data. So this is just a standard report from Dynamics GP. This is sample data I have and I've got several thousand GL accounts here. You can see them all listed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a report just based on this information and I'm going to pull in data from this Excel spreadsheet to get the specific accounts that I want. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to show a working capital dashboard that shows me different components of working capital. So what I'm going to show you is the work that I've already done and how I took the standard sheet here and modified it just slightly, added pivot tables to it, added pivot charts, then put that together on one spreadsheet worksheet so you can see all those items together. So let's take a look at it. The first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to add two additional fields to this data. First of all, I wanted to add a column for report balance. And this is mainly looking at the account balance for that particular account, but also the typical balance and rationalizing it for reporting. The second thing I did is I've got a period number in this data over here, but I wanted to put the period name so it looks more user friendly in the report. So I have a nested if statement here to pull in the proper name for the month. So the next thing I did is I made pivot tables. I just inserted a pivot table and I got this pivot table here. Let's take a look at it. This is the field list for the pivot table and what I'm pulling in for this particular one is the account description down here, the summary of report balances which is a field that I added, and then the period name which I added as well. I also wanted to look at just a special segment of the GL account. I'm looking at the main segment. This is the first segment of three for this particular set of data and I've got probably a couple hundred accounts receivable accounts. I'm just going to summarize them all by the main account here so you can see that I've got a filter set up just to look at this account here. So this is my basic AR data and what I want to do then from that is I'm going to create a pivot chart for this. So I'm just going to select this here and I'm going to insert report right here. And what I can do here is I can just modify it if I want to, but it looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is then just move this to the page that I'm going to have all the dashboard items on. So I just right click on the chart, hit move chart, and then I would move it to this worksheet I have set up called dashboard. So that's what I would do. Let's take a look at the results. So this is my dashboard worksheet and what I have on here is I have three different components of working capital. You see I have accounts receivable here, I've got inventory, and I've got accounts payable at the bottom. So this is an up-to-date report. It can be easily refreshed by hitting going to data and then refresh all. It's going to go out to GP, pull in the new data, and represent that in the charts. So in order to make this look a little better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide some of the components of Excel here. So what I'm going to do is go to the View tab up here, and I'm going to uncheck the grid lines, the headings, and the formula bar. And now I can save that, and it looks, it looks like a nice report here. What I also want to do is I'm going to hide some of these worksheets down here. This is my initial data worksheet. I'm going to hide that. This is my pivot table. I'm going to hide that. So all I have here is the worksheet that I want to display to my users. 
So this is an easy way to get data out of your GL and represent it in a good report format. Here I've used graphs. You can use other methods if you like to. But I can use the functionality within Excel to make these graphs look the way that I want them to look. And I can easily refresh the data. So this is just another example of how I can take data out of Dynamics GP and format it for users so it's easy to understand and I can also distribute it. If you haven't tried using Excel reports for Dynamics GP and pulling that into Excel and making a dashboard out of it, you should really try it. It's relatively easy to do. I use GL summaries in this particular example and I can get a lot of information that I can easily display on a report dashboard.